Good morning, everybody. Pastor Stitch, Narrow Pass Christian Church, B.C., Bay City, Michigan. Welcome to the Biker Devotional. As I was reading this morning in Proverbs chapter 7, um, looking at the what's in under the header of the story of seduction in my Bible, um, starting in verse 6, it says, At the window of my house I looked through my lattice, I saw among the inexperienced. I noticed among the youth a young man lacking sense. Crossing the street near her corner, he strolled down the road to her house at twilight, in the evening, in the dark of the night. As I was reading that, I was thinking about who this young man was. Young. Inexperienced, hasn't had a lot of life experience, hasn't had the opportunity to um, do things that would give him the opportunity to know of certain dangers. Um, We often find ourselves in those positions, don't we? Where while we may have a lot of life under our belt, our experience is really limited to just what's right around us. We have knowledge of some stuff. We're told of things. And I think that's another thing that comes out in this. Because he says, a young man lacking sense. And so, a young man lacking sense to me says that he's been told about the dangers of this place. He's been told what happens to people that participate in the endeavors he's about to experience and told about the dangers. He's inexperienced and lacking sense. In other words, he's been told the danger, but he thinks the fun is going to outweigh the danger and like most youth, he's indestructible anyway. He can survive it and it will be fine. I know. I've done that so many times. And it's not even about youth, if we're honest. Because so many times we get told about a danger um, at my age or at my father's age. Where we get told about a danger of what we're doing, but we're convinced that that is can't be true because of our inexperience and we go down a dangerous path he goes on to explain how dangerous it really is to interact with this married woman who seduces him in the dangers of it but i don't think you understand quite the danger of it It sounds like this woman has done this many times before and based on other things we've read, more than likely when the husband comes home from his trips, he does damage to everyone she's been with. So my guess is she goes off and tells the husband all the things she's done to get back at him for leaving her. That doesn't sound familiar at all. Now I'm reading into the scripture, I'm not saying that's what the Bible says. But there's danger greater than just what we experience, right? He's been told of the dangers, and yet he goes on his way anyway. Solomon says in verse 24, My son, listen to me. Pay attention to the words of my mouth. Don't let your heart turn aside to her. Don't stray onto her path. For she has brought many down to death. Her victims are countless. Her house is the road to Sheol, descending to the chambers of death. He sees just another young man, inexperienced, wise in his own eyes, willing to do his own thing because he's indestructible. And he looks at his son and says, I see it one more time. I want you to know 
how dangerous this is. I don't want you to have to learn this lesson the hard way. Please listen to me. So often, someone who cares about us will give us the same advice and we'll ignore it. Or we'll hear the advice from our Father in Heaven, God, through someone else. And yet, we end up being the youth a young man lacking sense because we're inexperienced and we won't listen to those that are. Today, I would offer it is a good idea to heed the warnings that are offered up to us. I love y'all. Hope you have a great day. God bless.